there, it's Poppy. Um, I just thought that I should do an update about my dread journey and how it has affected me being a complete control freak. Um, I like being in control of my scenarios. I like being able to um, manage everything and just know how to make everything work the way I want it to. And uh, dreads have been a big lesson in letting go and patience. And it's it's been really good for me, I think, because I think I needed to learn how to let things go a little bit. Um, in the beginning, my videos, you probably saw that, I mean, I started with the um, Dreadhead HQ Waxless Dread Kit because um, I just felt like I needed to be able to manage it a little bit. And then I've been doing salt water treatments on it to help it um, kind of scrunch up and palm rolling. And I was doing crochet hooking in the beginning and just just always messing with them, always playing with them. But um, And while it looked nice for when I would maintain them, Every time I took a shower, they would bounce right back up and do their wild, crazy thing. <laughs> and so now I'm just kind of embracing their wildness. Um, and I'm actually kind of liking it. There's, there's so much good stuff going on back there right now. Look at that! Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm kind of just making a bigger attempt to just release my control of the situation and let my dread journey take me where it wants to go instead of where I want to force it to go. You know, I had, I have a job in a pretty professional environment and I think that I was concerned about what they would think about my hair I kind of, you know, I didn't really ask to put dreads in or ask if it was going to be okay or not. Um, <laughs> I just kind of showed up with them one day. And the funny thing is, is no one really said anything. And then they got crazier and no one's really said anything. So either nobody cares, or, um, which is fine, <laughs> um, or they just... Um, look okay enough to be, or maybe I'm just a good enough employee that they're just like, whatever, as long as you're working hard. That's probably, that's probably the case. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty hard worker. So anyways, this is kind of what they're doing. I, I kind of like the, the glow of the light on them. I think it kind of accentuates the, the craziness. I love it. I'm seven months in right now and they're getting short. Well, some of them are, some of them are really long still. Look at that. It's just, they're a little bit weird. Like I got some long ones and then I got some super duper short ones. So they're all different lengths. <laughs> and I kind of have been wearing my hair up a little bit more just to kind of, I don't know, put the long ones as high as the shorter ones. Wearing a lot of little bandanas and such. I'm actually on my way to work here shortly. Here's a good close-up. Extreme dread close-up. Seven months, loops and bumps. Seven months, loops and bumps. So, anyways, if you're a control freak like I am, <laughs> and you need a lesson in how to let go, I very much recommend getting dreadlocks because no matter how much you try to control them, they have a mind of their own, and they're gonna do what they wanna do, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be all right. I think you should just let them. So, there you go. That's me. It's seven months. Yay! Finally letting go and just letting be. So, enjoy your day, and thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.